Hi guys and welcome back to episode 17 of Grumpy Builds. Today we're going to be looking at the bee production and I'm going to start by um, collecting a few bees and well, I have actually already got a few but we'll go and get some more um, and then we're going to start producing honeycomb and creating more drones. So what we need to do to start with is create a scoop. Now th what this does is allows you to open, um, break the bee houses that lie around the lands. So I've got one here, I think I've got one over there. So you just click on it, which gives you a bee, and use your honeycomb or something like that. Yeah, so you princess usually in a drone. Quite more, if you can see anywhere. Um, not going to go too far. But this can usually is easier to do this at night because they usually glow a bit, so um, you can like see the ones that are in the trees better. So I'll open those two. So after this, though, we'll go. There we go. So another thing you need to do is have bird houses or apiary. I have three already, but I have looked for a village, and that's where you would normally get them. So if I just quickly go there, uh, so you usually have to find a village. And then you usually find two in a back garden of a hut. So you take this stuff, break it, get the thing, or you just break it and you get all the stuff anyway. Let's go with those. And I can get rid of. I don't need that. There we go. Okay, so we've now got a few houses, some bees. If we head back to the base, and I'll show you where we're going to be doing the bees. I created like a area where I'm going to be making the house, and and as it's, as wind building's just finished, I thought, well, I inspired it to be cynical. <laughs> It has to have a glass roof because bees have to have clear sky above them. They can't have, you know, like, you can't put a bee house here because it's got um, a roof where glass doesn't matter. So I'll put these here where we'll be putting banks of um, bee houses. So what I'll do is just break these blocks and so. I'm going to put two here one here and two here but eventually all these will be um, working okay so essentially what I'm going to be doing is I've put some jungle tree here and vines because uh, tropical bees, which are the dark green ones, they require vines of jungle wood, otherwise they won't produce anything or won't work. This one I'm going to be using, uh, I've already got queens actually, so I'll just put a queen in. Um, they require to have a flower nearby for them to work, so I'll put like a oak tree there and some flowers and what was this one? I was going to do forest so um, they're going to be producing forest ones so just get rid of that so I can actually see Yeah, 
so they're now working so while we're doing waiting for those to go down because obviously that bar has to get down there and then it produced honeycomb and another drone and another princess another thing I like to do with when I do my first bees is put an ME system in now you might say oh, why do you want a separate ME system just for your bees well when you start off you need a lot of drones to do cross breeding so you just want to be constantly producing them so what I do is I just set up a very basic system where it would just kick in drones and princesses and it would automatically just keep producing them I don't bother putting it into my main ME system because to be honest it gets harder to control then and they fill up and <laughs> there just really isn't much point so what I'll do is I'm going to get some export um, get some import cables get two lots of cables and that should be enough okay it's essentially the same system as um, like the auto smelting but uh, instead of put bees into hives okay so what I'll do is we'll go to down Again, should have done the shovel, but okay. So again, same with the other one. I put the export at the bottom and the import on the top. You have to put a bit of ammo connecting them. And then we we'll hook this back into the main system. Now there's a reason why I do um tropical bees is because they're actually very good producers for items that I'd like to um, use later oh, hello, totally missed. Oh, I've done it. Give up. Okay, so now that's now that's connected. Now what we're doing here. Oh, I need to wait for that now. Okay, that's not a problem. Just carry this on over here. We do the same with these ones. So export on the back. Um. Okay, so that's they're connected. Put the import on top. put the bees into the ME system okay so what we're going to do in here is put a princess put a drone 
and the same again princess drone now what that will do is put the anything that goes into there when the bee dies it will be put into the ME system but then it will pull back in a princess and a drone and then it will start the system over again so if we take a look hopefully we've got something in there no not yet so give it just a minute or so and it should be so that's oh it's night time ok so there you go I've turned it back to daytime so the bees carry on working because they only work in the day and they don't work in rain either so shouldn't take too long now for that to finish and that one's even closer so if I'm not using the uh, proven frames yet because it slows down the dying of the bees which obviously at the moment I don't want but if you're for going for production of like honeycomb or something then that is the better option to use the frames connect these now so we go boom, boom. So there we go, then they're connected. Um, but I don't have a princess, so I can put the drones in. But I'll have to wait for one of them to die so that I can put the princess in. But the shank that won't take long. Just fill in the hole a minute. Ah, so the tropical bees, they can poison you. They'll take you down to something that I think it's half life, half a heart at life. And then, but it would never kill you. Please tell me that's not rain. Yeah, as you can see, my health is dropping, but then it, it comes back up, so. But it's annoying if you get that in the jungle and then a the skeleton shoots you because you're dead. Okay, so the bees now should be. F yeah, they've done. So if we look in here, you've got a princess because the drone should always be already be put back. No, it hasn't. Be put in there instead. Okay, so basically that's that's not an issue at the moment because it's just because I haven't got many bees in the system. Sometimes it will just put them in the wrong area, but eventually that will kick in. And see, I think they have done already. Yes, it has because that was a lot lower than that. So if you see there, that is now actually working correctly. Um, not sure of. If I put the proven frames in now, we should start to see some honeycomb come through. And silky combs from them, which is good because they're the ones that you can put into a uh, centrifuge and you get a uh, um, different materials for later on with crafting uh, I think I think it's like a silk wisp or something I can't remember the exact name of it but it's good for making backpacks and things like that let's just kick all these in there because that's what they're supposed to be in there so 
just put six. Might take one of the frames out there actually. Put it in there. Take one out there. Put it in there. So you just saw there that there was stuff in there and then it emptied. So you'll find that the princess should come back into there in a second. Ah, that won't because I didn't do it, did I? Because I didn't have any extras on me. So if I take the princess... Click on there, so it goes into the... So I pull them in there. The same there. So if I come in here, pop it in there, you'll see it disappear from there. There you go. And now that it's on there, the bees are flying around doing the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water bees in here. Um, I probably least have a row of these because they're like I say they're, I always find they're the most helpful ones. And then what I'm going to do from these is then crossbreed them to try to get the um, I think it's common bee and valiant bee is the next one. Could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure it's common because you cross a forest with a, a meadows. Um, but you get the chance of getting another one and that's how you go up there the bee tree but I'll do a whole episode just on bee breeding see there we go because it's quite complex we've had a honeycomb because I put six in so it's now gone up to seven so you can see that that's now working as well just wait for this to hopefully work See, I quite enjoyed doing bees, I must be honest, but it, it can be a bit of a pain in the backside because there's a lot of waiting around with it. Especially when you're trying to go through the bee classes and it's like you're waiting on a specific breed to become um, like born, as it were, to for a particular thing and then you get one and then that dies because you mess up or something, oh, it's very frustrating. Tell you what I'll do, I'll go and build a centrifuge. Um, because I always need, that's my next thing to do is the forestry mod, so. If we come here, what do we need? Yeah. Right, what's the recipe? So we need copper, sturdy casing, which is bronze. Uh, if I remember, bronze you can do with copper. <laughs> you can see my um, quarry's been working hard. And tin. I think it's that. That? No. Maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, there we go. Bronze. There we go. Created uh, 64. So, oh, what's going on? Right. Okay. So, I'm probably going to need a couple of these. So, um, let's say five. Oh. There we go, so got those. So, copper and glass. Uh, two glass. Let's take a load of copper. And it was like that, I think. Uh, two glass. 
and there we go. Right. So if we head over back over to the bees. Okay, so I'm going to put the forestry machines over this side. So, uh, where's the power cables there? Okay. So let's dig down here. And connect it to this ME system over here. There it is, so I'll just bring this across. And again with this, you can connect this to an ME system. I'm not going to bother at this moment in time though. I'm just going to place it down. Okay, so we played the centrifuge. Now what that does is if you take the honeycomb uh, that the bees produce and pop it in there, you'll get um, well, it's several different products, but you get beeswax and honey drop, and it depends which honeycomb you put in. So, we really want those to do a silk. Ah, and so if you pop these, so we need to wait for the princess, don't we? That's right. There we go. So, if we do that, just pop them in there. So once that produces a couple of silky, we can put that in and see what get, we come out of there. But I can see get beeswax, and what you can do with the beeswax is turn it into pipe sealant. So if you're making, uh, say, waterproof piping or something like that, that's an easy way to do it. Um, Come on, you lazy little buggers, produce some uh, silky comb. Mm. Trust me to get the lazy ones. Mm. Well, I you like to poison me, mind, so. Okay, so I'm not going to wait around for too long for this. The I might show you quickly next time what I'm talking about, but uh, we've been waiting around for ages. So I'm going to call the episode here. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope it was a bit useful. And uh, we'll see you next time. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.